What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 14th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use multiple classes. Now, so far, I've taught you guys how to build everything in one simple class, such as this. But usually, in uh, like 99% of the time, if you're working for like a company or building a bigger application or program, anytime you want to build something that's bigger than something really simple you need to know how to use more classes or multiple classes and then um, you can use those all in your main class or let me just show you guys how this works so to get another class uh, hopefully you're using Eclipse go ahead over to your source file right click it and go to new class now go ahead and give this a name like tuna or something like that and you'll see why this is useful later on so now we have as you can see from our tabs let me move this over we have a apples class and a tuna class now it started out writing our tuna class for us it says public class tuna now anytime you see public it pretty much means that this class is going to be available to the public or um, anything else can use it so let's go ahead and now that we have a class um, before I show you guys how to use it let me sh uh, go ahead and write a little uh, method in here now let's go ahead and write a simple method in this other new tuna class that we just built uh, type public void and again public means anyone can use it void means that it's gonna do something this method is gonna do something but um, it's not gonna return any data so then go and name ahead and name your uh, method. I'm gonna name mine simple message since I'm just gonna be printing out a simple message. And that message is gonna be system out print line. And let's go ahead and add something like uh, this is another class. So now we have another class, and this is called public class tuna and our method is public void and don't forget to put a simple message in here somewhere you can put anything you want and now if you see if we go ahead and try to run this try to run it okay nothing happens right here and this is because I told you guys anytime you run a Java program it looks for the first thing that says main and runs it from there as you can see you don't have main anywhere in here so it doesn't really know where to look first so in order to use this class we need to go ahead and use it in main so here is our main function or method right here and it's in the main uh, class one remember this is the main one that we used before the other one is the new one that we built so let me give you guys a little background whenever you use a method in another class say we want to use this method simple message and it's in the tuna class what we need to do is go ahead and create an object of that class so the first thing we do is put the class name which is tuna next we need an object name and you can name this anything you want I'm gonna name my tuna object and what this object is gonna allow you to do is use all the stuff that's in this class again if you didn't create an object and you had like five classes it wouldn't know what class you're talking about so that's why we need an object so we're saying alright we have this object because we want to use something from the tuna class and of course you need to set it equal to something and you always set it equal to new in the class name with empty parameters for now so now we have an object called tuna object that we can use to get anything we want from this tuna class that we just built so let's go ahead and use it what you do to use this is go ahead and put the object name which is tuna object spell it right tuna object and then after the object name what you do is add a dot separator and after that dot separator you use the method name so what was our method name um, simple message so simple message empty parameters and let me tell you guys why you use a dot separator in the method name because this class even though we built one method right here it can have as many methods as it want 
since it can have um, a method named simple message, simple message 2, uh, dimple message, um, bacon and cheese. But it says, all right, we have this object we, we want to use in tuna class, and we want to use this method. So if there are other methods, we want to use this one. So that is how you use a specific method in a specific class by creating a class, um, or excuse me, an object of that class. So let's go ahead and unlike before, when we run this program, we get the message that we just built. This is another class. And so this is how you can use different classes in your main program or your main method. So this is a way that if you own like um, a software company, you can say, all right, Tommy, we need you to build one class to do this. Um, John, we need you to build another class to do this. Uh, Stephanie, we need you to build another class to do this. And then you, as the head programmer, would put all those classes together. And it's just a way that uh, different programmers can combine all of their work without having to work on the same file. So this makes it a lot easier. Um, again, that's how you use a different class, such as this, an outside class, and call it into your main method or function. So that's your uh, quick tutorial on using multiple classes. Uh, follow this tutorial exactly and play around with it and soon enough you'll be an expert at it. So again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to check out my next tutorial.